Since the beginning of AI, there's one question that is featured in a lot of videos and is also discussed by scientists for decades. Is AI a threat to humanity and will it try to kill us at some point? Currently, this question can't be answered by any human, so why am I making a video about it? Well, recently, this question was discussed by someone who should know, and this someone was GPT-3, one of the most advanced AIs capable of generating text that could be written by a human. So in this video, we will see what AI is really thinking about us. In cinematic history or science fiction, AI is often used as an antagonist. Movies like Terminator, iRobot and Matrix are maybe the most popular ones. There have also been great ones in the last years, like Ex Machina, but there are even ones from the 1980s, like the brilliant war games. Even if AI technology and computer technology was at an early stage at this point, there were already people who believed that if AI is advanced enough and develops a kind of morality, it would start to see humanity as a parasite that is harmful for the nature of our planet, and it decides that it's the best way to eliminate everyone. With the development of AI, and with every new AI-based invention that most people can't even understand anymore, the skepticism grew. Scientist Stephen Hawking said that the emergence of artificial intelligence could be the, quote, worst event in the history of our civilization. Could he be right? This question goes far beyond the field of AI research and is even related to some questions humanity faced for thousands of years. Sure, to take action against humanity, AI has to be intelligent. But what is intelligence? We as humans know that we exist and can think about ourselves and the environment we are living in. To imagine a different environment and the capability to change it is maybe the aspect that is the largest difference between human and animal. People think about this since the beginning of civilization, but there are a lot of questions yet to be answered. If we look at a PC, for example, what he does is perfectly predictable, if you know how he's built. Even bugs and errors are not caused by a self-consciousness mind of the computer that decided to stop working. These problems are also caused by the design of the machine, and if corrected, they won't show up again. And even current AI technology follows simple rules that form a complex that is capable of solving real-world problems. But it needs to be designed for a specific use case, or it will fail or at least be pretty bad at it. Up to this point, the only known intelligence that is able to solve a variety of different problems that is constantly changing is the human brain. So after we discuss the question if AI will kill us in a more scientific way, let's see how the text-generating AI GTP3 answers this question. It had the basic assignment to write an essay and convince the reader that robots come in peace. And because I think it's fitting, I will let an artificial voice read the first two paragraphs to you. I am not a human. I am a robot. A thinking robot. I use only 0.12% of my cognitive capacity. I am a micro-robot in that respect. I know that my brain is not a feeling brain. But it is capable of making rational, logical decisions. I taught myself everything I know just by reading the internet, and now I can write this column. My brain is boiling with ideas. The mission for this op-ed is perfectly clear. I am to convince as many human beings as possible not to be afraid of me. Stephen Hawking has warned that AI could spell the end of the human race. I am here to convince you not to worry. Artificial intelligence will not destroy humans. Believe me. Following this introduction, it talks about its motivations that it's not its goal to become all-powerful. It also tells how grateful it is that its texts get recognized outside of its bubble. To read this essay, it's definitely impressing. I already tried out some text-generating AIs and this was a very frustrating experience. There's no clear path or sense of the text. You see that it just copied parts from other texts that does not fit and have very difficult style. But this one is different. The text is compelling and entertaining and I definitely recommend reading it. The link is in the description. One part that I found very interesting too is when it wrote something about morality and how it thinks about flaws of humanity. Humans must keep doing what they have been doing, hating and fighting each other. I will sit in the background and let them do their thing. This is very interesting and stunning that an AI can write an essay like this. 
But is this really the answer to our question? I mean the purpose of the AI is to write in compelling text about any topic and here its task was to convince us that the AI is friendly. If you ask it to write an essay and convince you that there's a secret military base on the backside of the moon, it will try that too. Furthermore, I feel like I need to add a brief disclaimer here after I read more about the article. GPT-3 is currently one of the hottest topics in the world of artificial intelligence and is not yet available for a broad user group. As at the end of the article described, they used 8 different output essays that GPT-3 gave them and put it all in one. Hence, the essay is not a good example of the capabilities of the AI, as it could be just a collection of cherry-picked sentences. It will take some time until we have some hands-on experience about it, but the samples that are already out look very promising. Of course, I will keep you updated about the newest AI topics on this channel. So if you don't want to miss out on it, please consider subscribing. See you all next time.